Oh man, so Ada is on an absolute tear right now and I've been telling you guys for a long time that this is how Ada works. It moves sideways and then it goes on explosive moves. So we're going to look at the charts. I'm going to tell you where we could be heading from here from a technical perspective and we're also going to be looking at Coty because Coty seems to be setting up for a nice move to the upside as well and with Cardano up 9%, there's no reason Coty can't start to move as well. So we're sitting here at $2.32 on Cardano, up 10%. What's going on? What patterns can I see in the charts? Let's get into that. But first, guys, don't forget to collect your free money. Links in the description. SwissBorg offering you up to 100 euros when you deposit 50 euros, guys. You just can deposit it and then you can take it straight back out. Same with Coinbase. $10 in free Bitcoin when you buy or sell $100 or more. And BlockFi will give you $10 in Bitcoin as soon as you deposit $100 or more into BlockFi. So go get your exchanges set up. I'm here to give you these updates, guys. I'm traveling, but I'm still committed to giving you these updates. So please smash up the like button and let's look at Cardano. So Cardano, you can see has just been on an absolute run ever since moving sideways here. It's moving sideways and it's been on a tear. So you've had a good movement up from here at sitting at $2, where it was at for a long, long time. You could have been buying Cardano and now we're sitting at $2. It touched $2.37 uh, uh, and now sitting at $2.32. So looking really good on Cardano, but what are we seeing from a chart perspective? Let's take a look. Let's uh, get us zoomed out and you'll see the following. You'll remember we were in this triangle pattern, okay? We were in this triangle pattern, which I identified on the daily chart. And what actually happened was we broke to the downside of this triangle, right? So the triangle was forming here and we were struggling, 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 waiting for the apex and Cardano wouldn't make up its mind. If you remember on the daily chart, we were looking at it and it just had really big daily candle wicks to the upside, to the downside, and it was using the whole triangle. It just couldn't make its mind up of where it wanted to move. And I was reassuring you guys that Cardano does this. And I showed you on the daily chart, we'll look at it again, of how it does that and how Cardano works. And then you saw we broke down to the downside on Cardano. We managed to build up some bullish strength and then broke back down again. And it was kind of on its last limbs trying to fight uh, versus lower levels. And we were worried that we may see sub $2 levels here at $1.87, but we picked up support here. Okay, we picked up support here. You can see we got a few strong bulls buying in at $1.90. Any, anytime it dropped below $2, and I even said this, this is a buy all day long for me. I was buying it at any time it dipped below $2. I'm happy to top up my bags of Cardano, even though I have a much lower cost basis. And then you saw what happened was we just then had a massive explosion. Obviously, Bitcoin's running. That's going to give big cap altcoins room to move. And that's always important. Bitcoin has to give, uh, call it oxygen, some air, some breathing space to these mega caps for them to move. And Cardano is one of them. And you saw we've had absolute tear here, gone straight above the apex which is our first point okay we have to, we obviously have this uh, resistance level here which we cleared but then the apex of the triangle is very important and we cleared that but we've not had a retest just yet okay guys this is a bit of euphoria right now it's a big move to the upside so the question is what's going to happen next and uh, that's what i want to take a look at right now so if we take a look at the daily let's get us onto the daily chart and tidy this up. You'll see this is exactly what I was speaking about, okay? So we would form this triangle pattern and we broke to the downside. And look at the massive wicks, guys. Look at the massive wicks here. Uh, sorry, there you're seeing on these candles. This is Cardano not making its mind up, okay? Look at these massive, massive wicks you're seeing here. This shows how volatile this market was in terms of Cardano. Now, if I show you going further back, let's do that. If I show you going backwards, you saw I created these red rectangles. And the reason I did this was just to illustrate how often Cardano would do this. Because for those of you who are new into the space, you're thinking, why is Cardano not moving? All these other amazing coins are moving. Am I in the wrong investment? What's going on? Well, you're not, the answer is. And Cardano is a long-term hold for mine. I have good fundamental conviction in Cardano. And therefore, when it moves sideways, like these rectangular boxes suggest, I'm more than happy to top up because you don't want to be chasing it on these pumps. And that's what Cardano does. When it decides to go on a tear, it'll go on a tear. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's what we're seeing Cardano set up for now is a tear similar to this sort of a tear to the upside here, going to retest the all-time highs at $3. As you know, we've had Ethereum create all-time highs, Bitcoins have created all-time highs, Solana's been on a tear, you're seeing a lot of Layer 1 solutions do really well, we cover Phantom on this channel, we've seen Luna do really well, and Cardano is lagging. We know they need a DEX, we know there's a few fundamental flaws that they need to get done, and the community's getting frustrated, but you shouldn't be off your all-time highs when Bitcoin's on an absolute tear. So for me, Cardano's got a lot of room to run, uh, and I'm looking forward to watching that and analyzing that as it does. Now, let's bring out our trusted EMA ribbon because we do want to look at what's going on here. So you'll see here, this daily candle now needs to close above, okay? So it's, it looks like it's going to, which is great. Uh, whoops, let's show you that one here. Here, we just need to get that full close above, and then the next daily candle, if we can have another green candle completely away from the EMA ribbon, that will then give us full confirmation that we're flipping bullish on the EMA ribbon. And the last time we did that to that extent was back 
here and you saw the move we've had okay so if we can get that similar close here we could really be setting up on a strong strong move on cardano so stay tuned with that now what does that mean for koti let's take a look at koti but please guys before we do that pin comment will be the link to our free public discord server head over there it's fast growing community guys we've got hundreds of people in there now uh, rapidly growing we only set it up a couple of weeks ago but like-minded people talking about their coins sharing insights looking at chart patterns i spend time answering questions in there as well you can vote on which coins you want to cover on this channel as well so do definitely head into there free doesn't cost you a penny get in there and get involved in this community so let's take a look at Koti, uh, because we know Koti needs to do something right now. And let's see what that is. Let's remove the EMA ribbon. And as you can see on Koti, we were forming this massive cup and handle pattern, which we spoke about many times. We had our first handle there uh, from which we broke out of. We had a second handle here from which we broke out of, and we keep getting rejected at 66 cent mark. So let's head over to the hourly candles just to kind of get an understanding of what is going on. And you can see when we broke out of this wedge, we came back down. Okay, let's just show you here. So we broke out of this yellow wedge. We came back down to test. We had a massive move to the upside, which is perfect TA, guys. You normally expect that. You come get a retest off the off the resistance, head back up. And then we kind of knew we were going to get rejected at 66, right? We've been rejected numerous times before. We need good strength, probably some sort of ascending triangle, like we saw with uh, Phantom, an ascending triangle, which really gets you to a point where you can break through tough resistances. Uh, and that's what we didn't have here. And that's why we've kind of dropped back down now in a downward trend uh, on Koti. But what could we be seeing next? Well, what do we want to see next is we want to see the following. You can see that we've managed to get a rounded pattern here. Um, so that was really good. We managed to get, we got rejected here and we've almost touched the support line. And I, this is almost a bounce off now. Okay, so you can see here, higher low, and now you can head higher on Koti. So the good news on Koti is we're setting up for a nice pattern here on the hourly. But more importantly, let's take a look at the daily because it's the daily trends we want to be looking at. And now that we've seen uh, Ada have a good day, can this now mean that Koti can start moving from strength to strength as well? You're getting a good bounce off of this level at 55, let's bring out the EMA ribbon as well. You can see that green candle came in at the right time here on Koti because we were starting to penetrate the EMA ribbon. Okay, just this candle here. We were starting to penetrate the EMA ribbon. So you could easily see that we were here right in the middle of the EMA ribbon, which would give, get you worried that you're starting to downtrend, okay? But we didn't. The balls came in, bought it up, and you can now see we created a green candle. And we just need this candle, even though it's a red day, we just need this candle to close above the EMA ribbon. That would be fantastic. And then if we can get a good green day tomorrow, I mean, we've still got 12 days of this candle, so it could flip green, that's fine. But then as long as we close above the EMA ribbon, that would be good. Then we can set up for a good bounce off the EMA ribbon, and that's what we want. Uh, you can see the last time we bounced off the EMA ribbon, uh, that gave us another attempt at all-time highs, right? That was, that was let right... Uh, here you can see we bounce excuse all my mess on my drawings guys but that was just about here we bounced off that ema ribbon and we managed to go and test 66 cents now remember any of these price ceilings which we call them they have massive sell wall pressure you have a lot of shorts sitting there you have a lot of people taking profits at these points they become very difficult to break but once you do break them that momentum stays with you to create higher price targets so our price target for koti is 81 cents a lot of people can say oh but you're struggling at 66 but that's not the point it just happens to be that it's a psychological and technical resistance level and therefore it can take three four sometimes five attempts to break these levels but each time you go knocking at the door it gets weaker and i'm confident that as long as we're not getting sent to the downside which we we're not we're holding good strength in terms of bullish momentum at certain levels particularly above our buy zone on koti that suggests to me that we should be heading higher and breaking through this resistance uh, very soon when we do 81 cents will be our target on koti so there you go guys there's an update on ada which is doing phenomenally well really good to see ada pumping and like i said guys Ada makes this move in a couple of days, right? It's what it does. So if you're impatient in those markets and you're chasing the next favorite coin that your friend has told you about, you'll miss out on high conviction plays like Ada. That's why I always bang the drum about high conviction. If you understand what they're working on, if you understand the team and how they work and how they operate, how they do their peer reviews and take things slowly and what it means, then you'll have high conviction. That's really important. So if, as always, you appreciate my technical and fundamental analysis from the other side of the world, smash up the likes, subscribe, and please support this channel. Don't forget, Discord, pin comment below, and I'll see you in the next one.